Hey everybody, Superfluous J here, launching himself once more into the breach, and we have a single achievement left to get, and that is Class Specialist. Beat the game with three different mechs of the same class. The class I have chosen is Artillery. The person I have chosen to go with us is Camila Vera, played this time by Dragon King. And uh, Camila is, for better or for worse, going in the artillery mech. We've also got the rocket mech uh, with uh, smoke damaging bad guys. And the boulder mech, which uh, is a pretty good weapon. Um, I, I find artillery to be one of the stronger squads. Uh, so I think this will be easier <laughs> with artillery mechs. I don't know about these three in particular. But hey, there's only one way to find out, right? Well, let's get out there. And today, Dragon King is launching out with Salt Boy Vivo and Top's Neck. I believe all three of you have never been in a squad before. So, all newbies. What do we got? Okay, all we need to do is beat the game with three different mechs from the same class. Two islands, out, we win. Uh, those two islands are going to be very likely this one. And very likely this one. And very likely this one first. Yes, let's do this one first. Uh, okay. He likes our triumphs against the Vex. So do we. We like them as well. Now, if we want to get this one, we have to skip this one. So I think we're going to head up through these, and then we'll decide at the end if we want uh, power, more power, or more grid defense. It's a little scary, but it's not too bad. Uh, anybody who stands here to hit the train we should be have no trouble um, knocking them into the water with our artillery guys. Um... Now, as far as where to put people, I don't know yet, but let's figure that out together, shall we? Um, I think this is fine. This is fine. We'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Already having some uh, potential issues with the bad guys. Um, however, I'm not that concerned. Uh, really, I want to get rid of you. So that you can throw a rock here and push him into the water. I don't know what to do with this guy yet. I know what I want to do with him, but I can't actually do that. What I want to do is push him here and also stop his move and potentially damage him with uh, with smoke. But I don't think that's gonna, that would happen all in one turn. So, what are we going to do? We can do this. That kills him. He's doing one damage. Yeah, you know what I think is a better move is this. Because that blocks a spawn. Uh, but we're going to do it not first. We're going to do this first. Uh, yeah, you need to move back. You're going to murder him. Then you're going to come right back here and do that. Then you are going to come here and do that. Okay, that's pretty easy to fix. Like uh, this. Oh, that doesn't kill him. Wow. Really didn't expect that to not kill him. Uh, okay, then how about this? That'll definitely kill him. So there's one. Uh, I wish you could get here or here. But you can't because you threw a rock there. Um, you could throw a rock here, which would knock that rock there. Trying to be clever. Um, but there really is no way to be clever. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out a way to block two spawns, basically. Um, but I don't see it. So go ahead and throw a rock there to block that spawn. And then you do that to block that spawn. So now on the final turn, we're going to only have two bad guys. They're as far away from the train as we could make them. One of them is the Scion, which makes me happy. Uh, so shouldn't be any trouble whatsoever. So you're going to kill the Scion. You're going to kill that guy, and you're going to chill out and do nothing. And the train keeps rolling on. And yes, by the way, I did double check my audio to make sure that it's recording, and it is. 
Thank you very much. Uh, you can hear me, so obviously it is. Uh, defend the disposal unit. We love this mission because it is, as I have said many times, free money. This one's a little bit tight, but it shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. Traditionally, on the first turn, we, we kill as many Vec as we can with the disposal unit, but that may not actually happen this time. Uh, we could do this, which I think is a very good first move. Yeah, I like everything about it. That frees up our guys to do interesting things like this. Uh, let's see, you can... No, you can't get here, so you have to do this. You're going to have to push him out of the way, which is a little annoying. But it's better than nothing. So you do that, and then you're just going to push him back this way instead of killing him. Probably could have probably could have done more if I hadn't done damage to him, but I wanted him to get down to a lower point just to make things easier on us later. Okie doke. I think this is an obvious first move. Because that lets us do this and giving you a nice three points. You uh, can do this. And then you can... I think we're going to actually leave that out. Well, we'll do that. Why not? So this is obviously the turn to uh, destroy the mountains. We can give Camila three more points. The reason I'm targeting Camila is because she has the hardest time killing people right now. Um, but I think we're going to start with this. Just it, It's obvious. It's what to do. Um, the problem is there's nowhere to stand Camila where she doesn't either get acid on her, which isn't a big deal because any hit and she dies anyway. So yeah, let's do that. Then do that. Then do that. Then do that. So final turn, well second to final turn, the uh, disposal unit has been defended. We got three Vec that are probably going to be fairly easy to kill with uh, the disposal unit, which gives Camila points. And we like that. And then this guy we can just do that. And then repair and repair and done. As I said, easy money. It's nice to have a, a mission that's just gives you free stars. <laughs> I can never really complain about that when it comes down to it. Okay, in the battle plus and four mech damage. Well, I believe if we get uh, four or more mech damage, somebody dies. So that's an obvious desire uh, for this squad. Uh, let's go ahead and put them all here, just because this this is a pretty nice column to, uh, to stand everybody on. Hopefully we can push some people in the lava, but it's not going to happen this turn because uh, everybody flies. Got to kill the Scion as quickly as possible. And I think the way to do that is with the rocket mech. That way... We can kill you. And there's really no reason to kill this guy, so I think uh, I think I'm gonna bring you down here, so that you can take this this area down here. I think this works, uh, and just don't do anything. And as long as we keep three guys on the board every turn, we should be fine. I'm not super happy about the number of flyers. I will uh, I will definitely mention that here. We're gonna push you over. Then you're gonna shoot him, so he only has one damage left. And then you have to take this guy out. Um, however, it would have been nice to shoot here because that would have done a lot of damage and given you a lot of XP. But uh, we are at four bad guys here on the uh, the turn here, which is bad for us. However, this guy's not doing any any shooting, which is nice. 
Uh, and this guy is at three hit points, which kind of sucks, to be honest. Because you can't, you can't kill him. That would be, that would be the ideal move right there. Would be for you to kill him. You can, however, shoot here, which pushes that guy in the water. Yeah. And then you do this, which kills him and damages his friend. And then you just back up one so you can shoot him. And then on the final turn, we're still going to have three guys. Sadly, our boulder back is way out of the way. And yeah, can't do anything. Luckily, though, we don't need him to do anything. Because you can, you can take out him. And you can take out him. And you can just throw a rock for no reason. <laughs> Protect that other rock with the rock, I guess. And mission complete. Reasons he cared, no problems. So far, we're, we're sailing pretty well with this squad. Uh, we got our, we got Bethany. Look at this. The game wants us to win. The game feels feels like we've put a lot of work into this, and we should just expect to win. Uh, Bethany has 20 XP, so we're gonna swap you with Top's Neck. Top's Neck Jones. And uh, that's fine. I don't see any reason why not to, to put you in that mech. There's, there's, no, <laughs> there's no actual reason to do that or not. Um, sadly, that one power doesn't actually help anybody except for to give somebody plus three move. I would really like to give you plus damage, but that's a, that's a ways off. That is a ways off. Um, and I think, though, I'm going to do it and give you plus one move. Yeah, a little bit more isn't going to hurt. We haven't lost any buildings yet. Um, so I think we're going to go for this one just to get as many uh, stars as we possibly can. Um, definitely scary with the two guys, but shouldn't be a big deal. So we'll put you here because Camila uh, doesn't get, doesn't get uh, hit. Sadly, this guy can get anybody. This guy can get anybody and this guy can get uh, anybody, well, you and then anybody else. Uh, we could put someone here just for the fun of it, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I guess we'll do this. Not a big fan. Not a big fan of the of the placement options on the first turn. But we'll see what happens here. You can already see what I want to do. You can already see what I want to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is get acid on somebody. And that somebody's going to be you. So we're Oh, you can't get there. I wish you could stand here. You could stand here and then shoot him and kill him is what I was thinking. Um So This is an obvious first move. Yeah, it's really the only obvious first move. Just trying to decide who I want to put. I think I'm going to put acid on you. Then you're going to do this, which is terrible. So never mind. <laughs> you can actually do this, which I really like. That makes your move less useful, but hey, what are you going to do? Because you have to do... Okay, I'm going to reset the turn because that was a dumb first move. That was like... In the annals of all dumb first moves, that, my friends, was the dumbest. Because what we can do here is we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, and we can do this. That's a smart first move right there. Because then we can do this. You leveled up. What would you get? Level up, level up. Mech reactor. We love mech reactors. Okay, and you do that. There we go. That's the smart way to play your first turn. Now we kill one out of four people infected with acid. 
please make a note of it. We're about to kill two. Uh, we want you to get stuff as well. Uh, I guess we'll just go here and put smoke around this thing. I think that's a good a idea. Could have blocked a spawn with the rock, but I'm trying to give uh, Bethany uh, to the top snack <laughs> um, a uh, an, an experience point here. Um, also, Camila's going to get an experience point, which is nice. Here we go. Boom. Uh, you got mech move, which I'm not going to complain about. Could have put uh, acid on that guy. Not going to lie. Didn't even think about it. Um, put acid on you. Let's see. Acid on you. You do this to block that spawn. Then you stand here and murder him, which puts smoke there, which is nice. Also gets acid on this. So whoever comes out of here is just going to have acid on him. But we do have four people on the final turn, which I'm never a big fan of, but sometimes you just have to deal with it. And what are we going to do here? Well, this is an obvious move. Yeah, this is an obvious move. This is an obvious move. This is a very obvious move. And then this is an obvious move. Plus one mech reactor. Nice. We got two people with a plus one mech reactor, which is awesome, going into the final battle. Well, not the final battle. The boss battle of this island. Reasons secured. Everybody got a promotion. Mech move, reactor, reactor. Not bad. Um, sadly... <laughs> We can't actually use those except for to give everybody plus one move because I gave the only, yeah, that's just the way it works sometimes. I guess we're just, everybody's going to have plus one move, which isn't bad. <laughs> it's definitely not a bad thing to have. It's just not what's going to really save the day in the end run here. Um, okay, we're going to put you here, and then you two are going to hide behind buildings uh, because I don't want him pinning you somewhere, or him, when it comes down to it. Although we've got a lot of move on our squad. Uh, so we definitely got to get rid of the Vec. The, the Vec being the Scion. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, yeah, okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to go here and do a damage to him. Then you are going to go here and shoot him into the water. And then you are going to drop a rock here so you don't take any damage. He dies. And these guys don't do very much effective. And now we should be able to, to start concentrating on the beetle. It's annoying that we can't really super concentrate on the beetle because uh, all the damage he can do. Um, he is going first though, so this takes care of two birds with one stone. Which is kind of what we're looking for at this juncture of our game. So that takes care of him. You can come here and do that to him. And then you are just going to have to suck this up. So go ahead and do two damage to him so we can kill him next time. We may have trouble killing the beetle leader. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Okay. This is the guy with one hit point. Hmm. 
<laughs> you do this, that'll kill him. He's not actually in endangering anything. So I think we need to kill this guy. I think we're going to need to leave somebody alive in order to... Uh, Ugh, I don't like this at all. You can you can move him. Which I think is what we have to do. And then you can move him to protect the thing. And I wish he went first, but he's not going to. I do not believe we're going to destroy the beetle here. Does not feel like it's in the cards. Yeah, that'll just kill you. So that's what we would call a bad move. Um... <clears throat> ha. Huh. You do this. Doesn't kill him. So it's kind of out of the cards. This is really the only important guy when it comes down to it. Kill him. And then figure out a way to kill him. Which just isn't going to happen. So, instead, let's protect some buildings. So, either kill him or kill him. He's worth more XP. So, Beetle Leader lives, sadly. Take another building damage, sadly. But, hey, it's Serotiller Max. They suck together. <laughs> no, we're fine. We're fine. I probably could have done that better. I, I have a feeling I, I, I miscalculated on the first turn not killing the, uh, the Scion. But, oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and spend our rep. We, we do have eight rep, which is not anything to sneeze at. Uh, heal all player units, not a bad idea. Uh, we can get nine and then get three reactor cores, which I think is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the heat converter. I, I don't hate it or anything. But we're going to pick up three grid power. We're going to continue, and we're going to give you plus two damage. And we're going to give you plus one damage, and then um, probably the other plus one damage, and then you. And then we'll start worrying about the storm generator. Um, I was kind of hoping to get some sort of smoke thing after this island i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie um obviously the rocket mech by himself isn't great with smoke but um if you can generate smoke also that's amazing so anyway leaving the island we as i said are probably going to go here next time but that is next time i hope you enjoyed watching this i definitely enjoyed playing it i'm superfluous j and i will as always talk at you later